Hello? Hi. Is everything okay? You sound out of breath. <laughs> yeah, you know, just uh, working hard, getting ready for that fourth quarter ad sales sprint. Uh, what's going on? Similar situation on this end. My CEO has really turned up the heat on the marketing organization to hit our numbers to make up for the first half. Speaking of, I'm in the market for vegan audiences because we're about to launch a new line of plant-based t-shirts. But aren't your shirts already made out of cotton? Yes. Well, cotton's a plant, isn't it? Do you want my money or not? Yeah, of course. And actually, we're running a special right now on something called Seller Defined Audiences. It's part of our privacy-friendly post-cookie preparations. Huh. Pitch it to me. Absolutely. So instead of sharing person-specific identifiers, we put people into groups based on their demographics, interests, or purchase intents based on the IEB Tech Lab's audience taxonomy standard. So in your case of wanting to reach vegans, we can sell you our audience labeled vegan diets. But how do I know I can trust your grouping? Well, you can check our data label. Your what? No. Here, I can email you a sample copy. Just make sure to check your spam folder because I feel like that's where my emails to you often end up. So the data label is like the nutrition facts label that appears on food packages. It gives you information about who provided the data, what the audience segment is, including how many people or households are in it, and what we use on our end to identify them on our properties. And it also gives how the audience segment was compiled, like what information was used to tag these people with this label, and the last time the data set was updated. So how is this vegan diets audience created? You have names and postal codes for every vegan in the country. Well, we could geotarget people in Portland or Los Angeles to start, but no. In this case, we're relying on our observed web usage. Here, I'll send you our vegan diets data label too. Okay, so people you see visiting what you determine to be content related to veganism. But how do I know I can trust your definition of this audience and that this isn't just people who read some article you published about the corn kid on TikTok? What? Because the kid loves corn and- It has the juice. Yes, yes, it's a big lump with knobs and it's also a vegetable and thereby implicitly vegan friendly. Okay, I get you. And honestly, you would just need to trust us. I like to think of advertising against seller defined audiences as like asking someone to make you a smoothie. You may ask them to make you a blueberry banana smoothie, which seems straightforward enough but one person may make a more blueberry dominant smoothie and someone else may go harder on the bananas. Then how do I know if your smoothie's more blueberry or banana? You kind of have to taste it to see. You know what? Maybe I'll just stick with a third party cookie until Google decides whenever, if ever, it's going to take it away.